We'll begin with the contents of the duct tester kit. As you open it up, you'll see all the components that are in there, including the grill mask uh, for sealing off supplies and returns. We have the DM32X manometer, which will gather our readings and serve as the controller for the fan. We also have the clear flange and the flex duct to connect the fan to the system. And we have the 340X calibrated fan that we'll use to pressurize or depressurize the system along with the power cord. Before we set up the system, we wanna make sure that the HVAC system is turned off. This also includes any whole house ventilation devices. We also wanna open a door or window to prevent the house from being pressurized during the test. And we want to remove any filters so that the system is under a uniform pressure. Be sure to replace any doors for filter slots once the filter is removed. Once the house has been properly set up, we can begin attaching the duct tester to the duct system. We'll take the clear flange and use the two adjustable hooks to attach the flange to the return grill. We can use any return grill on the system where the flange will fit. If the return grills are too small, we can also attach the flange to the doorway at the service panel at the air handler unit. We'll then take our grill mask and seal the flange around so that it seals the flange to the drywall, ceiling, or floor that it's attached to. We wanna make sure that we have a nice airtight seal all the way around the perimeter of the flange. And if you're using the European model 350X, uh, instead of a 10 inch flex duct, you'll have a smaller hose that will attach to the end of a duct. Uh, using one of our duct adapters here, we have various sizes to accommodate for uh, different duct sizes. And then you'll secure that adapter onto the duct with tape. The next step is to determine which range to use. The tighter the duct system, the smaller the range we'll use. The leakier the duct system, the more open it will be. So for very leaky ducts, we'll have the fan all the way open. However, for most duct systems that have a decent duct install, we can use range 74 and let the gauge tell us where to go from there. We'll then use the quick connect collar to attach the flex to the fan. Attaching it to the inlet side will depressurize the system. Attaching it to the black side will pressurize the system. And for those of you using the 350X, instead of the quick connect collar, you have the reducer drum, and this snaps on the fan just like the quick connect collar does. And depending on which way you wanna test, whether if it's depressurized or pressurized, just flip the fan around and then snap the drum onto the other side. Now we'll make all of our connections on the fan. We'll install our power cord. We'll attach the green tube to the green port, and then we'll put the yellow tube on the yellow port. This is reading fan pressure and pressure right on the outside of the fan. And then we'll take our data cable and plug that into the in port on the fan. Next, we'll take the DM32X out of its case and we'll make the connections on the top of the gauge here. We'll see some different color-coded ports as well as an ethernet jack at the top. So we'll plug the other end of the data cable there. Then the yellow tube will go into the yellow port and we'll plug the other end of the green tube into the green port. We'll also have the blue tube that will be referencing the duct system. We'll put one end on the gauge and then the other end will go into the supply closest to the air handler. And once all the connections are made on the gauge, then we can magnetically attach it to the metal plate on the fan to keep it out of harm's way. Now we'll use our grill mask to seal off all of the supplies and returns on the rest of the system. We wanna make sure we have the entire system sealed off so that we don't count any supplies or returns as unwanted leakage. Once everything is sealed, we'll then find the supply closest to the air handler and poke a small hole in it, where we'll then insert a static pressure probe with the other end of our blue tube attached to it. 
This part is very important because this is how the DM32X knows when the duct system is at the 25 Pascal target pressure. Once the probe is inserted, you can use some painter's tape to reinforce it to make sure it doesn't fall out. Now that the whole system is sealed off with our grill mask and our blue tube is inserted, we can now begin the test. To make sure the DM32X is set up properly, we'll first launch the gauge from the home screen. This will take just a few seconds to boot up. This is the screen we'll see once the gauge is launched. We'll first want to make sure we're reading Pascals on channel A, so we'll tap that and make sure that's adjusted correctly. Then on channel B, we want to make sure that we're reading cubic feet per minute or CFM. Next, we want to make sure we have the right fan selected. Here we have a blower door, so we want to change that to our Model 340X duct tester. So we'll click on the picture of the fan, scroll down and select our 340X. We're using range 74, so we'll select that. But of course, if you're using the European Model 350X, make sure you select that fan from the list of devices. Once the gauge is set up, all we have to do to run the test is hit set pressure at the bottom left hand corner. Then we'll see this keypad, but over to the right hand side, we have some hot keys where we can select 25 Pascals. This is the pressure that we'll use to run any residential duct tests. So that way we don't have to enter any buttons in, we can just press 25 and then off it goes. Uh, this will automatically kick on the fan uh, to seek that 25 Pascal pressure inside the duct system. Here we can see that pressure start to ramp up on channel A, and we can see our flow is around 60 to 61 CFM at 25 Pascals of pressure on channel B. Since most codes and standards require duct leakage to be displayed as a percentage, we can display that by tapping on channel B and then scrolling down to select CFM per 100 square feet. Once this is selected, you'll see the area that's served by the system right above the picture of the fan. You can tap this to change it to make sure that it's right. So here we can see it says 1600 square feet that's being served by the system. But if it's actually something else, we can just re-enter the correct area. So we'll change it from 16 to 1200 square feet. And then we can go back to our home screen where we can see that displayed right above the fan to make sure that it's right. So for this test, we would report that the system has about 5% total leakage. The button with the at symbol on it allows you to extrapolate the reading to see what the flow would be at exactly 25 pascals. This works great if you have the fan wide open and can't quite reach 25. And if you want to change the channel B reading back to that raw CFM, just tap channel B and select cubic feet per minute to give you that raw CFM number. And of course, if you want to stop the fan, just hit the red stop button in the center towards the bottom and that will power down the fan and end the test. Once you finish the duct leakage test, be sure to replace any filters that you removed beforehand and be sure to set the thermostat back to whatever setting that it was on if it was an existing home with occupants living there. <laughs>